All right, perfect. Oh, boy. oh, hey, Mark. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Hi. Mark. What's up, Mark? Whoa, we're floating in space? Uh huh. Who made this place? It's <laughs> awesome. Right? It's from a crater. I met in LA. Uh, this place is amazing. <laughs> Boz, is that you? Of course it's me. You know I had to be the robot, man. I thought I was supposed to be the robot. <laughs> Whoa. One of the things I really hate about these types of commercials is just how fake they are. First of all, no one uses gamer words. No one talks about anything remotely controversial. But most importantly, everyone speaks when is their time to speak. No one is talking over other people. Absolutely hilarious. So let's talk a little bit about the Facebook metaverse, which apparently is getting a lot more downvotes than I expected, like 16,000. This shows that people don't trust Facebook anymore. And they have reason to, but now people are saying it's because Facebook is caught in a scandal. You see, Facebook didn't really care about the harm its product can do to little girls. And I'm thinking, okay, does the candy factory care about the harm it can do to children due to obesity? Does the tobacco company give a shit? Does the mainstream media care about doing the exact same thing what Facebook is doing? putting out scary news and misinformation. No, so because of that, I don't really think it's a controversy. And even if it was, there are people that are trying to imply, oh, Facebook is rebranding with this crap because of the controversy. Like, let's be honest, this looks like something that was years in the making. And I don't think it has absolutely anything to do with uh, the controversy. It's just that they were trying to push for this. now. Is it going to work? I don't know. I mean, let's look at one of the main reasons why people don't use VR. Number one, the headset. It's incredibly clunky. So it takes a lot of space, very clunky, very prone to damage. As far as I know, almost any single VR set doesn't last more than two years of hard use. So if you're a pro gamer, if you use the, the VR set a lot, it's going to get damaged. Now, I don't know how the VR set is going to look for this because I, I tried finding in the commercial if they can show me something and if they manage to simplify the VR by at least removing some of the bulkiness from it, then maybe, okay, maybe uh, it's going to be a lot more popular. It's going to be compatible with Quest, but Cambria will be a completely new, advanced and high-end product and it'll be at the higher end of the price spectrum too. So it, it still looks bulky, right? It looks better than the PlayStation one, but it still is kind of bulky and it doesn't show if it's wireless or not. Now, if they manage to make like VR where you just have the glasses on and you're good to go, then yeah, this is going to rise in popularity. The second thing is that people get motion sickness in VR. It's because your eyes are telling you you're moving, but your brain realizes that you're not due to the internal ear. So it's kind of like motion sickness, but in reverse, because motion sickness, um, your eyes is telling you that you're sitting still, but your brain is telling you that you're moving. And it can be dealt away with practice. It's kind of like people who are seasick, if they travel a lot with boats, they're going to stop being seasick after a while. So you can adapt. So th these are like the two hurdles. The third hurdle is that people don't trust Facebook. Um, they talk about privacy and safety here. Get the fuck out. It's kind of interesting because when they bought Oculus, they said they're not going to tie it to Facebook, and yet here we are. So why would I believe this company? What I think Facebook is going to do is in the beginning, they're going to be very permissive. Like you can go into these VR chats and you can probably say a lot of gamer words and you can do pretty much whatever you want in order to attract as many customers as possible. And then they're going to try to make it as addictive as possible by hiring psychologists. And once they have a dominant position in the market, you're going to see articles in the mainstream media worried about radicalization online, worrying about the far right in these chat rooms. And then Facebook is going to drop the TOS hammer on it. So I, I don't want to make it popular just because of that. Just because it's Facebook, I don't really like it. Even if it looks kind of fun, I will not participate in it because I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to get you hooked to this 
and then they're going to try to manipulate you. It's like, this topic is not allowed. You're not allowed to talk about this issue. You're not allowed to do this and that and blah, 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 blah. Why the fuck would I want to give Facebook more power? Like there's other upstart companies that I would rather do. Um, secondly, this is also kind of like Second Life, I guess. I never liked Second Life to begin with, so not really into it. But, you know, maybe it's for you. I mean, I'm, I'm not the targeted demographic here. Maybe there's a lot of people that are going to use it. Still, I find it very unlikely that mom and dads are going to use it. And I think the people who already use VR, they will rather go to a chat room that's unmoderated, that they can actually do whatever they want. Uh, maybe they can have access to some edgy or maybe ecky stuff. I, I really am not that hyped about this product. But, you know, maybe I'm wrong and it's going to take off. My personal opinion is that it's going to be like uh, Pokemon Go. It's going to be very popular when it comes out. A lot of people are going to get excited. They're going to buy the new headset. It's going to break really fast. And then people are going to dump this shit. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.